What's up everybody? Three minute Friday. For short videos like this, maximum information in the shortest amount of time. Let's get this done. Today we talk about what's the right poundage for me. Your kid wants to start archery and it's eight to 12 years old. Get one of these bows. They have 15 pounds. They are just fine for almost every kid. Of course, depends how they grew. It's a 15 pound bow, easy peasy, it's cheap. Your kid will have fun, it's not too heavy, it's easy to use. Adults, we start here with 22, 26 pound snake bows for adults because even these bows, sometimes you see them standing there and already struggling because they are not used to it. You use your muscles in a different way, so don't overdo it. They normally people are already tense when they were you know, sometimes they stand they are tense and everything they pull is then already too heavy or they don't reach full draw or whatever simply go with a low draw weight bow in china ancient china they say when you're able to pull a 60 pound bow practice with a 30 pound bow so take half of it if you're capable of uh, can pull this bow but don't use it as your training item you will ruin your technique you know when the bow is too heavy and your shoulders come up and you can't hold it how can you develop a proper form seriously adults when you start go for a 30 pound bow maximum get your technique done get your shoulders down you know reach full draw easy and relaxed and you know make sure that you use your back tension and everything is easier to practice with a lower draw weight bow than when you go directly for what you are capable of doing and the easiest way we do it here somebody wants to buy a bow i tell him okay you want to shoot 50 pounds good then go there and now stand in full draw for 10 seconds without shaking and then one two three then you see him in six seconds he stands like this and then you know the bow is too heavy for you so when you're not able to stand 10 seconds in full draw without shaking the bow is too heavy for your practice don't do that you will not be happy and then of course we have now many they are inspired now by the videos of thumb release and they want to start thumb release and you know i shoot since 15 years mediterranean i shoot a 50 pound recurve and now i get a 50 pound horsepower because i start thumb release don't do that 50 pounds on three fingers different technique 50 pounds on one finger different technique don't do it you are used to one thing but it doesn't mean that the applies to a completely different shooting technique you have all the poundage on one finger and this finger is not used to it these three fingers got used to it over time but even when you think back when you started archery you didn't start with a 50 pound bow you started maybe with a 30 pound bow right now you start thumb release it's something different start low again get a maximum 30 pound then then your thumb will get used to it your body will get used to it the the, the posture is slightly different you shoot a little different you know there are slight alignments and even worse because you shoot already mediterranean switching to the other shooting style might be a little tricky because you fall always in your bad habits and when the bow is too heavy even more likely you fall into your bad habits when it's an easy bow to draw then it's easy for you to realize oh wait what is my shoulder doing am i there am i there it's easier this bow is 70 80 dollars get one of this 30 pounds it's fun to shoot snappy fun fast there you can practice all your thumb release stuff and then later on once your thumb got used to it and your muscle memory is built up then go for something heavier but don't do it in the beginning don't overdo it i hope that was helpful thank you very much for watching catch you in the next one